Hi everyone and welcome to this week's three minute pause. This week I want to just talk briefly about the need to encourage one another. Something that is immensely simple and yet can be transforming in the other person's life. These last couple of weeks have been quite difficult for us as a family. There just seems to have been pressure upon pressure and no release valve anywhere, hence the silence online last week. And it's been really, really tempting in the midst of that pressure to just want to walk away or at least entertain the thought of walking away from ministry altogether. It sounds dramatic, but believe me, it was very real. And yet the encouragement of people around us who wouldn't have known the impact that encouragement was going to have to make is the thing that has kept us going. See, the truth of our humanity is we are all too often quick to moan, but rarely, very rarely quick to encourage. That shows itself, doesn't it, through review sites and online reviews and videos. We are very quick to nitpick and be negative, but very slow to praise and to be positive. But as the people of God, we are encouraged to encourage one another. Paul declares in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11, therefore encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. And he speaks that verse in the context of all that Jesus has done, Jesus' death and resurrection and the life that can be found in him. So how can you maybe encourage somebody today. As we journey ever closer to Easter, Palm Sunday, this Sunday and then into Holy Week, we remember all that Christ has done. In the context of that, who could you write to or message or phone just to encourage them today? And let's make sure we are encouraging more than we are moaning. Let's make sure we are building up more than we are tearing down. For that is what God wants us to do. And that is what is good, not only for us, but for all those around us. Amen.